portfolio in finance refers to a collection of investments in different asset classes or securities. A rational investor always attempts to minimize the risk and maximize the return on his investment. Investing in more than one security is a strategy to attain this goal. Constructing a portfolio is a process of combining the broad asset classes to yield optimum return with minimum risk. Diversifying one's investments helps to spread the risk over many assets and assure the expected return. In a diversified portfolio, some securities may not perform as expected, while others may exceed the expectations, thus bringing the actual return of the portfolio reasonably close to the expected one. Generally, there are two approaches to constructing a portfolio. The first is a traditional approach and the next is a modern approach developed by Harry Markowitz in the year 1952. The traditional approach evaluates the investor's needs in terms of income and capital appreciation and select the appropriate securities to meet the needs of the investor. Whereas in modern approach, there's only two things involved. The portfolio is constructed in terms of expected return and the risk associated with obtaining the expected return. The Markowitz theory is otherwise called as a mean variance analysis. Markowitz is considered the father of modern portfolio theory mainly because he is the first person who gave a mathematical model for portfolio optimization and diversification. Modern portfolio theory, MPT, is a theory of finance that attempts to maximize the portfolio's expected return for a given amount of risk or minimize the risk for a given level of expected return. Markowitz theory advised investors to invest in multiple securities rather than pulling all the eggs in one basket. Here are a few assumptions of Markowitz theory. The first assumption is that the individual investor estimates risk on the basis of variability of returns, that is, the variance of the return. An investor's decision is based solely on the expected return and variance of the return. For a given level of risk, an investor prefers higher return to lower returns. Likewise, for a given level of return, an investor prefers lower risk to higher risk. The expected return of a portfolio is calculated using the following formula in Markowitz model. So the expected return of, a sec of the portfolio is equal to weight of the security A in the portfolio multiplied by the expected return of a security A plus weight of security B in the portfolio multiplied by the expected return of security B and so on. So here is an example. If a portfolio contains four equally weighted assets, with expected return of 8%, 10%, 12%, and 14%, the portfolio's expected return would be 8 into 25%, plus 10 into 25%, plus 12 into 25%, plus 14 into 25%, which is equal to the expected return of a portfolio of 11%. The risk of the portfolio. Portfolio's risk is a complicated function of the variances of each security and the correlations of each pair of securities. To calculate the risk of four security portfolio, an investor needs each of the four shares variances and six correlation values since there are six possible two security combinations with four securities. The formula to calculate the risk of the portfolio with two stocks used using modern portfolio theory is as follows. The risk of the portfolio is equal to square root of weight of the stock in the portfolio multiplied by the variance of the stock in the portfolio plus the weight of the stock in the portfolio B multiplied by the variance of the stock B plus 2 into weight of the stock A in the portfolio multiplied by weight of stock B in the portfolio multiplied by the correlation coefficient of stock A and B multiplied by the standard deviation of stock A and standard deviation of stock B.